As you wish. I am your worst nightmare. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C, aka The Low Hounds, and welcome to another League of Legends video. Today I bring to you another build guide. This time it's going to be on the highest rated Trindamir in North America. He goes by the name of Boxer Pete, and he does have a stream, so link in the description if you want to go check that out. He also has a YouTube channel, so you can go check that out as well. A link will be in the description. He's currently ranked 40 in Challenger and has over 500 games on Trindamir. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video is because he's going with this Black Cleaver and Lucidity Boots build, which is something that is really rare on Trindamir. So without further ado, let's do this. So first of all, his preferred summoner spells are Flash and Ignite. In fact, he never goes with anything else such as TP or Ghost. Flash and Ignite are the two best summoner spells to try and get an early cheese kill level 1 to 3 with Trindamir if possible so you can snowball the game from there. Flash also allows you to use the E-Flash combo which can definitely catch the enemy off guard if used correctly and will help you get to the enemy AD carry late game a lot easier than Ghost would in team fights. Moving on to his runes and masteries. The mastery page he takes is 18012, with his keystone being Fervor of Battle. He much prefers Fervor of Battle over Warlords. Warlords is more of an early sustained mastery. Meanwhile, Fervor provides that extra damage, and since he takes Ignite, Fervor of Battle synergizes better with his playstyle. So that would be my understanding of why he goes Fervor of Battle over Warlords, and to be honest, Fervor of Battle right now, in general, is just a better keystone mastery. His rune page is 9 attack damage reds, 9 armor yellows, 6 cooldown reduction blues, 6 scaling cooldown reduction blues, and 3 attack speed quints. So from his runes at level 18 he will have 10% CDR and along with black cleaver and lucidity boots overall at level 18 he will have 40% CDR on Trundamir which is the basis of his build. This is essentially a cooldown reduction Trundamir build. So now that leads on to his item build. His starting items for the most part would be a longsword, refillable potion and a yellow trinket. However, against AD range champions such as Quinn and Graves, which you sometimes see in the top lane, specifically Quinn as a counter to Trundamir, he would start cloth armor instead of a longsword. As for his first back, he would usually rush the Sudity Boots as his first item. This would then be followed by a Vampiric Scepter for the Lifesteal in lane which he would later upgrade to a Blade of the Ruined King. If he started cloth armor, his first back would be Ninja Tabbies instead of Boots of Lucidity, just so he can negate as much damage as possible in lane against champions such as Quinn. Following on from this, his core build would be Boots of Lucidity, Static Shiv, Black Cleaver, and Blade of the Rune King. So why Lucidity Boots and why Black Cleaver? So both items give you CDR and along with his runes at level 18, you will have 40% CDR, which means his E ability or his spin will be on a five second cooldown. This obviously means that every five seconds, Trindamir will have a gap closer or an escape. This gives him a ton of mobility and negates the kiting issue that Trindamir has to deal with. You can also add in the movement speed you gain from the passive of Black Cleaver and then the active of Blade of the Ruined King which provides a slow and a slight movement speed increase as well. All this combined gives Trindamir a lot of mobility and movement speed to continually rotate between lanes applying pressure on the map and it also helps him in team fights to get to the squishy targets especially if he has flash up. Another advantage of Black Cleaver is it reduces the armor of enemy champions up to 30% which obviously helps in the top lane where you will often be dueling with tanks who stack armor. So you can see why lately he has been having a lot of success with this build. Obviously he is firstly a great Trindamir player and that is the main reason he is challenger. However, I do believe he has probably found the most optimal build on Trinomir for the current meta. So if you guys play Trinomir, maybe give the Black Cleaver build a go. An example of a final build would be Blutes of Lucidity, Static Shiv, 
Black Cleaver, Blade of the Ruin King, Infinity Edge, and Phantom Dancer. Other items he would consider are Merc Treads if the enemy laner is someone like Kennen or Lissandra, Mortal Reminder to reduce enemy heals, and Lord Dominix. Finally, his skill order. He would start E first, then put two points in Q followed by W, max Q first, E second, and W third. His ultimate he would actually max last, and this is because ranking up your ult only reduces the CDR of the ult and doesn't really provide any other stats. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the build guide. This is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like, and as always, have a nice day.